because it allows for you to take in the spirit element in a particular way, and it nourishes your theme of duality, which is really just a simplistic understanding of the trinity that truly makes up all levels of reality. But in your experience of Earth, duality is more heavily emphasized, despite the foundation of creation really being a trinity. So you have inner and outer mixing together. You have self and other mixing together. You have light and dark mixing together with every breath. Through breathing, you begin to experience your first relationship. Remember, you have your relationship to water, you have your relationship to food. You have your relationship with loved ones. Your relationship with breath is the most foundational one. Even though you do not breathe when you are in the womb, you are still using the muscles of respiration to pump nutrition into yourself when you're in the womb, even though you're not physically breathing. So the dynamics that you experience with respiration on the muscular level, these are dynamics that are not just designed to pull in air. They are designed to pull in energy. That is their primary role. So you breathe not just for air. You breathe for energy. It is the most nourishing form of energy. That is why without it you perish quickly. It contains in abundance what is known as the clear light. Clear light is the highest frequency of light. It is so powerful that you are surrounded in it and by it, but you have no visual awareness of it because it is transparent. So right now you are looking at clear light, but because it is transparent, you see your physical reality around you. When you look within yourself, it looks dark, but this is because the clear light is transparent. So you see darkness, you see through it. This is the highest level of light. 